Hey YouTubers, it's Joe from Artelian TV. Another game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. Back to Mars, back to Gale Crater, and back with the Curiosity rover. Just going to show you, because a lot of people were struggling with this, to see what was in it, because it's a funny looking object, and it's really odd. And the only way I can really explain it is to show you it. So I'm going to get rid of these, these other things here, the gear stick thing, whatever that is. And show you this and I'm just briefly going to outline what I think this is. Now I don't know what sort of creature this represents, whether it's a humanoid or a little bear or something in between, I don't know. It's very very strange, like a lot of the things on Mars, it, it doesn't conform to creatures we have here. The, the only thing it does conform to in my mind is a gargoyle and I have found lots of things that look like gargoyles uh, in this area uh, loads and loads of them, some very funny, weird, almost cartoonish looking carvings and, and heads and things like that. Uh, gargoyles were used to guard or, or they were used to adorn religious buildings normally in, in the past. Uh, but people also have them in their gardens. Uh, in fact, Jeffrey Epstein, if you, if you look at the We Are Change video where uh, Luke goes to um, Epstein's island, uh, there's gargoyles like this all over the place around around his compound, around his island, and they're quite ugly and weird look, looking little devil type things. But some of them some of them were quite cute uh, on Earth. They're not all nasty little devils. And uh, on Mars there do seem to be what look like little gnome like figures as well. I'll show you another one of those in a minute. So yeah, let's get on with it. I'm di I'm digressing now. You can see the raw image here. You can see the small enhancement here, which is really brighter and more contrast. Well, I'm going to draw on this one because it's bigger, but look at the details in the small one because you can see an arm, a head, and a body with legs. Now, the legs are really short. There's one here and one here, right? We've got an arm here, comes down like that. Shoulder here, that's the shoulder. And we've got a hand holding something, and I'm not really sure what it is. Now, look really carefully, we can, I'll just point the head out briefly, there's the head. It's got a very white, bright part to the chin there. Head comes up like that. We've got what look a bit like two little horns, but they seem to be broken, if they are. There's another one here, and one there. We've got an eye here, an eye here. Okay, we've got a nose there and a mouth here with a big smile. Right, this is very cartoonish and gargoyle-ish. But if you look at the arm, look at the arm again, this little chubby little arm. Here's the back. There's something coming down there as well. Not really sure what that is. But he or she, this gargoyle, is holding something here. Like this. Now I thought it was a weapon, and it might be. But other people have said in comments that it looks like a, a pet or an animal or something. Could be. Uh, it's really, really odd. Um, if you, it helps if you kind of look at the smaller one there, whilst I draw on this one, and see what I'm pointing out. There's a sort of dark circular part there. So it's almost a semicircle. And you've got this thing comes around like this. And it's got parts to it. There's like a leg or something sticking out there. There's something coming around here. It's very, it's very complex, and also it's very eroded and pitted from erosion. Now this is wind erosion and, and uh, all sorts going on here. So, and this may have been underwater for some sort of considerable time. There's also what looks like an, an alien just behind it, just there. You see an eye there, another eye there, nose, and a mouth. Okay, no one spotted that. Surprised, people usually do, but uh, not enough clarity in the image to actually tell. It's very, very vague. In fact, it looks like it's been smudged over. So that's the details. I'm going to get rid of all that and, now, and let you look at it without all those lines in the way because it, it's really, really strange. And what's off-putting is this ear. It's very bright and, and it's got a very dark part to it. And that kind of jumps out at you because it's so, it's got a kind of very white edge, as does this chin here. But if you ignore that a bit, and look at the other details, you can see it. You can see the mouth, you can see the nose, 
it's quite a triangular looking nose, quite sharp, like that. Right? And you can see the eyes. Once you know it's there, you can see it, but not everyone can see these things straight away. They're muddy and low quality images, out of focus and, and blurry like this. Right? So you've, you've got to really look at the, the contrasted image here, the smaller one really, to see it properly. Because when you zoom into these things, they get fuzzy like this. You've got to sit back and they get a bit clearer, okay? So I don't know what this thing's holding, but you can see the arm coming here and the hand here. You can even see one that's like a thumb or something sticking out or, or something holding it. I'm not really sure, but I don't know what this thing is. There's something being held and it has parts to it, like a weapon or an instrument, like a some kind of weird sort of trumpet or saxophone or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I have no idea. But I'm just showing you the shapes so you can kind of get your head around it because it is a weird one, this. So I do recommend that video. Go and watch it. It's on, it's on my other channel, Space Detective One. Uh, that was about it for today, really. I uh, don't want to take too long with this. So check that out. Let me know what you think. Is it some little kind of gargoyle type bear? That's what it looks like to me. Or a little demon? That's kind of, the, 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 you can actually see two horns sticking up here. It looks like a little heavily pitted statuette. This is about a foot tall, maybe only nine inches or eight inches, but it's around about a foot. It's quite chunky and it's in good condition. You can actually see the, the, the legs, even though it's very knobbly and, and it's got all these kind of like pits and holes in it, you can actually make it out. You can make out a leg there and a leg there. And the overall shape is, is, is almost like an owl shape. It's very, very wide and chunky. But that's why it's intact. Now, if this was a spindly little statuette, this would have broken thousands of years ago. But because it's so robust in shape, it's stayed together. And none of the major parts seem to have broken off. It's, it's just eroded away. Uh, almost like a chess piece. Chess pieces are quite sort of... Uh, robust shapes so that they, they don't break, generally. Um, it's that kind of thing. That's, when you make sculpture, it does help if you make it a robust and strong shape to start with and it's less likely to break off. If you look at a lot of statues in, in the museums, they have arms broken off and noses broken off and other appendages broken off <laughs> that were sticking out uh, because they were made of thinner material, the, the material wasn't as wide there. If you make a robust rounded organic shape like this it's going to stay together because it, it, it's all kind of one mass and you don't have arms kind of sticking out or broken off or whatever or other things <laughs> right so thanks for watching everybody please leave your comments below let me know what you think of these things i'm not really sure what always sure what a lot of these things are this is why we have my channel this is why you i, I like you to uh, contribute and say what you think you can see here. If you find something similar on Google Images or somewhere, post a link in the uh, comments and we can all check it out and compare it. That'd be good. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.